Hello guys, welcome to TechBuzz. If you are an iPhone user, you may know that Apple products have one of the tightest security system and bypassing them is really hard. And one of those is forgetting your lock screen password and your iPhone getting disabled. Then you don't have any option to unlock your iPhone. So in this video, I will show you how to unlock your iPhone or iPad running iOS 15 or iPad OS 15 in just few clicks. For that, we will use PassFab iPhone Unlocker. PassFab iPhone Unlocker can unlock your disabled iPhone. It can help you to factory reset your iPhone without Apple ID and password. You can bypass Apple ID verification, screen time passcode and MDM lock. It supports even the latest firmwares like iOS 15 and iPadOS 15 and models like iPhone 13 series. It is available for both Windows and Mac PC. The link of the app is mentioned in the description below. You can check the details from the link. Although this app is not free, but it's worth of every penny as it's a very feature rich app and can help you to get out of some really tricky situations like iPhone disabled, remove Apple ID, remove screen time password and MDM lock. But before going ahead, make sure you are using the latest and official version of the app to avoid any issues. So in order to remove lock screen password, we will use unlock iOS screen option. Here it mentions that it can remove lock screen password, touch ID and face ID from iPhone. But this process will wipe all the data on your iPhone. And during this process, your iPhone will be updated to the latest version. To go ahead, click next. Now connect your iPhone to PC and follow the on-screen instructions to put your iPhone into recovery mode. You can select your iPhone model from the top and follow the steps accordingly. So now you have to download the firmware for your phone. Here it shows the latest firmware available for my phone and model number. You can select the path where you want to download the firmware. If you have already downloaded the IPSW firmware file, then click import local firmware. Or you can copy the download link from here and paste it in your browser to download the firmware yourself. And by clicking download, the app will automatically download the required firmware for you. The app will verify the firmware file and then start extracting it. Once the extraction is complete, the password removal process will start automatically. The lock screen removal process has started and may take around 10 to 15 minutes. So you don't need to do anything, just sit back and relax and don't touch or disconnect your phone until you get a process complete message. So the unlock process has completed and the phone is booting up now. The phone has finally booted up to the welcome screen. The phone is back to factory settings as it was bought new. So now you have to just set up your device by the regular method and if you had backed up your device earlier on the cloud, you can restore it once your phone has started. So you will not lose any important data. The setup is complete and the phone is back to home screen. But this process has wiped out all the data on my iPhone. And as you can see, it has also removed the Apple ID that was there on my iPhone. So using PassFab iPhone Unlocker, we have successfully bypassed the lock screen in just a few minutes. So you don't need to visit the service center if you forget your iPhone password. You can do it yourself using the unlock iOS screen feature of the PassFab iPhone Unlocker app. You can download the app from the PassFab site. The link is mentioned in the description below. You can either buy a monthly, yearly or lifetime license as per your need. And you can get 30% off now if you use the discount code which is being shown on the screen. If you have any doubts regarding the PassFab iPhone Unlocker app, you can ask me in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, do hit the like button. Also don't forget to click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates on our new video uploads. Also follow me on Instagram on techbuzz.insta page and techbuzz Facebook page. We will be back with another video soon. Till then, stay tuned.